So you've probably heard a lot about the shad spawn by now. Obviously it was a big player in some of the recent tournaments. Um, it's a big player every year. Yeah, a lot of tournaments are won. Essentially what they're talking about is the shad get up to spawn and they get up on shallow points, hard spots. They might be on the side of a dock. I've even seen them spawn on grass lines. But a lot of times what people are looking for is just shallow gravel, hard places. And usually it's just a few hour deal. I mean, maybe, you know, if you have some overcast conditions, it might last three hours, but usually you're gonna get an hour, hour and a half, two hours. First thing in the morning normally they'll get up there and spawn you know starting even when it's dark and then the bass will move in and start feeding on them as the light comes up so that first hour is really your critical window and they don't do it everywhere so you've got to kind of run around in the mornings and figure out what hard places the shad are spawning on and the bass are up there feeding on them and so you've got to you've got to really race around for that first couple of hours in the morning to find it so you really want to just pick a handful of baits that cover that water easily usually for me that's going to be a square bill different sizes work a lot of guys were throwing great big ones this week and, a, and i saw some big fish caught on on even the little 1.5s the other thing i'll throw is a top water you get on some some of those really shallow places the top water can be really dynamite just to get the the fish to hone it in on your bait as a opposed to all the balls of shad that are up there. The thing I've probably gotten used to throwing the most is a swim bait. I like a, a weedless rig that lets me throw it around docks, throw it on hard points, throw it shallow, throw it a long ways, cover a lot of water, but it's got a lot of action. And, and it seems like that's something the fish have really started to key on. That's been a big player for a lot of people in tournaments in the last few years. But the, the age old standby is probably the spinner bait. And a lot of people don't even know they're fishing the shad spawn. This is probably the easiest bait that will tell you you're fishing the shad spawn. You'll be retrieving the spinnerbait back the blades are spinning and when you're reeling it back you'll have four or five shad around the blades of your spinnerbait that will tell you you are on a shad spawn so the spinnerbait is probably the thing I would recommend to people the most. It's super easy to fish, you know, get you a half ounce spinnerbait, one you can throw a long ways and just run around and hit as many points as you can in that first hour of the morning. The shad spawn is basically going to happen once the water gets over 65 degrees every full moon. After that, the shad are going to spawn. If you've got that coming up, if you've got a tournament coming up, you're out fun fishing, you know you're on a full moon, run around that first hour in the morning, hit a lot of hard rocky places, uh, boat docks, places where the shad can get up and roll and, and get their eggs off and, and look for bass that are chasing them. So spinnerbait, topwater, crankbait, and a swimbait, the four baits that I would recommend to chase the shad spawn.